dearest mother, I have found my way at last to London. I am safe, harboured up to the creek in a dream boat between Greenwich and Deptford. Tenth September two thousand and seven. Write a book, an anonymous narrator. Sometimes first person singular, sometimes sole view as outside observer. Prologue. Begin with letter to mum. Chapter one. Awakening from slumber. Unconscious on a couch. Adam's flat apple cider consciousness dawning on an aching alcohol soaked and sore body and mind naked from the waist up soaking wet from waist down shoes still full of water I look around the messy hippie flat waiting to remember how I got here I switch on my mind and begin to search for the last memories available. I am used to this process by now. I am used to my habit of surviving these explosions of jihad and awakenings to blackouts, covered in aches and pains and bruises and cuts, accusations and blame, guilt and shame. I remember my first keys to the night before. It's Adam and Rachel's flat on the high street. I've been here before this night. I begin to rise off the couch and wince. My body is stiff and numb, still physically drunk on some form of overload of some unknown forms of toxic substances. My mind, still sluggish, heaves its mighty weight from out of the quagmire and slouches on the bottom step. Of the stairs of knowledge, to grasp and gasp for some air before attempting to regain the dizzy heights of all knowing. How great the fall! Through the door on the right is the hallway. Left is out the kitchen just in front. No sign of my shirts or jackets but a flashback of memory at last. I remember putting my hand on the knob of the back door entrance and turning to walk in. There were people with me. They carried my heavy bags for me, but I had my guitar on my back. I was not totally alone. They watched my back, and they supported me. They encouraged me to be brave. And then, blackout. I turned the knob, and memory stops. Mercy rained from on high and flooded the swamps. I feel pain and judgment more than usual, like dark shadows accusing my light with blame, that it is my fault that their forms have been revealed, their secrecy usurped, their malice mirrored. Demons, swatted like flies from the undead flesh, of immortal souls whose ancient bones live trapped in quagmires of hell. Oh yes, I remember another key. There is a jigsaw puzzle mosaic I have been creating with which to solve the mysteries. Shining Christ light Implosion creating nucleus of attraction within black hole status. For love will kill what is not love. Three nights ago I walked on the spot and descended into hell, as Christ had done, when, after the crucifixion and the resurrection from humiliation, he went below to set souls free from persecution. I had done so in spirit, and knew that the action would make the word manifest. Vagina Monologues, After Party, 10.09.07, Night.
drink, drugs, rock and roll, pricks, fucking cunts. Follow the white line down the rabbit's hole, all the way to wonder where to land. What state to awake in? Destruction of reality as a lifestyle profession, a public confession, a drinking session, a worthwhile lesson. There is a jigsaw puzzle. It's everything in one, and it's immeasurably detailed. It's a mirror ball of infinite facets. There are many ways of seeing it. I was in my friend's kitchen at midnight. We were well versed and immersed in the soul memory imagination and had delved deep down within the wellspring of a scene Christian folklore. I felt Christ within me and God present with his mother and all the sainted souls of ascended masters gathered to witness the initiation of a pre-sent incarnation of a Buddha enlightened soul. I stepped on the spot in the centre of their kitchen floor and step by step I sank beneath the ground down stone stairways to under realms of darkness and despair. The Christ light of love shone within me and I was carried as a lantern by the grace of God and his mother to bring a heart into the land of heartlessness. Judge Mary Martin looked up from the progress report paper and gazed sternly down at the accused. You are very arrogant, Oberon. Six months in Limerick Gale should give you poise for reconsideration of your actions. Shock drained colour from Oberon's complexion as he stood, hands folded behind his back, and accepted his faith. He had worn his hair short and tidy, his tweed jacket, beige trousers, and his mum's choice of a new white shirt, the image of innocence and humility chosen by his mother's worries and fears. The date was September 11th, 2006, eleven months to the day since the abomination had exploded in the Clanmore Parish pub car park. He had walked the seven miles to get there from his parents' house, with the random selection of his iPod dictating the pace of progress through the process. The Dubliner's rendition of Scorn Not His Simplicity invoked floods of tears by Ogle's Cross and needed two swigs of Jemison's whiskey and a full can of Guinness before the journey could proceed. His poor mother's heart was straining under the weight of holding on to both father and child as both seemed cursed with a determination to drown their frustrations in public houses. Dad's reaction to the return of the prodigal son had been to seemingly ignore its presence whilst harbouring jealousy that this 31-year-old man was spending all day alone with his wife and she had always told him more than the others. No one in their right mind wants their guilty secrets revealed and exposed. Those of us who have left mind will stop at nothing to expose and reveal the guilt-edged sword of truth in order to grasp its knowledge by the hilt and handle the responsibility of its use in the moment. Coming home was the only way the puzzle could fit with the jigsaw. I am the only metaphysic, the only meta conceptual truth is love. I am in love with love, the ideas and the feelings of love and the interaction in between. Love as the quantum observer, the right angle 
forming perfect symmetry. Love as dynamic emotion. Engage meant to gauge relationship. Love as fuel of creation and co-creation. Love as ever expendable, inexhaustible. Like a fire, needing space, wood, air, earth and water, water to give longevity, sustain ability, endurance and holding power, to give warmth, gently and safely. <coughs> I have experienced much of love in various contortions so far in my life. I realized at age 15 that the teachers at school were teaching a curriculum based on falsehoods. In history class I learned that the popes had fierce armies and fought battles and hoarded treasure. I realized that this was against the simple truths exemplified in the story of Jesus the Christ. That the position of the Pope of Rome was identified as the beast dragon in the book of revelations simply put i had a realization that those in control of power in religion government and business are organs within the body which organizes and controls the beast that essentially the popes are the antichrists oh love and the joy of love and making love, sharing and caring and not faking love, the faithful promises and assurances, I love you forever, never wish to part, never wish for this bliss bubble to burst. Problem, reaction, solution. Mary Crabb says 2 plus 2 equals 5. Into the void. Random selection has just picked. This goes out to the pavement grey faces. Coloured scan and brain manipulated. The future's bright. we got to keep it freeze-framed in technicolour. This is just me rousing on the beat. The wannabes and could-bes and should-bes and will only be. Where we went to school stood in line in uniform, got taught a false history, told this is how to conform. This is how to conform. fast asleep beside me in our bed, drowned in the burst dam of universal alcohol. I am sober, she was slaughtered into unconsciousness, and our keys hiding from the front gate of our insecurity, so we emptied out the alcoholic surplus and Aiden entered slumber and comfort and peacefully home, safely and secure in the knowledge of our unbound loyalty. I spoke with John of how nice we were loose ends meet, and to our tales to be seen to be Sign. It's not physically a bumper, but it seems in my life 
something together. We're uh, getting on track. Um, the story that made me from up the way to carry me. Broken waters and ending time, the river runs. Blood is red and runs bloody. The flames of life rises. Compassion mighty. I'm far rightly. Now our earth is to fall mighty. We go in this bay. So I'm gonna do this. 